surprised? Yes, it is I, your estranged younger brother, Robert Colbert. Now, that's actually Rob Cornelis in a video produced by the Cornelis campaign. Today is the day that voters will decide whether Republican Rob Cornelis or Democrat Suzanne Bonamici will serve the remaining months of David Wu's term in Congress representing Oregon's first congressional district. Joining us live on the early morning update is candidate Cornelis. Uh, Rob, before we talk about the election, tell us about this video in which you portray Stephen Colbert's brother. You're pretty good at this. <laughs> Well, uh, it was just a couple of weeks ago, uh, late some Saturday night. Uh, my staff has always said that uh, that I, I kind of have a resemblance to Steve, Stephen Colbert. So at the end of a long campaign week, we're about ready to get to go home, but we had a volunteer in the office who's uh, a videographer, and we started just chatting about it. So we threw together a script and uh, experienced a little frivolity on the campaign trail in our office. I think it was good fun for everybody. Did Colbert respond well actually we, i mean the video just got out a couple of days ago so no we have not heard from him all right you were asking for the colbert bump have you seen that at all well i think we have scott it's it's been very very interesting over the last several days the number of people uh especially democrats frankly who have contacted us or we have contacted through our get out the vote effort who have said you know what they're, they're tired of uh, of what we've been seeing and they're ready to go a, a new direction and i think we're going to be surprising a lot of people today with the numbers so, what do you think about your chances well i think they're very good i mean to begin with they they admittedly uh, i have an uphill climb with the registration disparity in this district uh the fact that we haven't had a republican in 38 years representing northwest oregon so you know i went in uh, eyes wide open however i think the fact is that everyone recognizes we need jobs in this state no matter where you live in the state even if you have a job when others don't it pulls the state down and so when they look at the two candidates they have recognized that i have job creation experience uh and and they recognize that that kind of perspective will be, be extremely helpful in Washington today, not to mention it'd be a great way to champion what we do so well here in the northern uh, northwest part of the state. The latest voter turnout figures gathered yesterday show about 36% of voters have returned their ballots. That means you still have a chance to reach 64% of the registered voters. What final message would you like to send to them before tonight's 8 p.m. election deadline? Well, in addition to the fact that everybody recognizes jobs as number one, uh, please consider, if you're a voter, please consider who has the qualities and the background and the temperament to go back to Washington and, and be a player in this area. And I'd be going back representing the majority party, which allows me to have a, a strong voice in the agenda that will create jobs back home. And, uh, and recognize as well that we haven't had a job representative in the Portland region back in Congress for years and years. And I think that we have been neglected for far too long. And so I'm putting aside political parties. I'm, I'm coming forth as a strong, independent voice uh, that is ready to, uh, to, to change, mix things up, get rid of more of the same. And, uh, and let's, let's raise our expectations together of what a member of Congress from the Portland region can do for this region to grow the economy and to be a, to be a strong advocate for all the things we do well. Democrats pump more than a million bucks into this special election race, hoping to make sure the congressional seat stays Democratic. You have not received nearly the same support from the National Republican Congressional Committee. Do you feel it's been a level playing field? Well, no, it, it certainly hasn't. I mean, they've, they've pumped the, the party plus special interest from D.C. have actually pumped in excess of $2 million into this market against me. And that's been starting since way back in August when I first announced my candidacy because they knew I was a job creator. They knew that I'd be a, a strong advocate for, for the people in this district. And they knew that I would address the number one issue we're facing, that is jobs. So uh, it, it's been kind of a David and Goliath type scenario, but no tears on my side. The fact that the, that the Republicans have not jumped in, I think, frankly, is, an, is a, a, a compliment and that it shows the confidence they have in my ability. Uh, the other side probably has a lack of confidence in their candidates' ability to win this thing without their major help. Rob, you've been great to join us here on KEX throughout the campaign. We thank you and wish you good luck. We will talk with you again tomorrow, and we will link your Colbert video to our website, 1190kex.com. Thank you, Scott. Good morning. Very good. Thank you. We'll be talking live with Democratic candidate Suzanne Bonamici today.